Today was a momentous occasion for us because it was the grand opening of our brand new world-class green manufacturing facility here in Opalaca, Florida. This southeastern division supplies all of the areas around here, Georgia, down to Puerto Rico. Uh, it supplies Central America. I mean, it's a really important hub for us. And so it's really great to be able to welcome the city. You know, we had so many wonderful people on site today. We'll do play by play with the ribbon cutting. The ribbon is now centered, the scissors. And it's official, ladies and gentlemen. For the love of the planet, Earth Friendly Products is underway in Opalaca. We cut the ribbon uh, right here on these steps that we're standing today and welcome the community, welcome dignitaries. We were fortunate enough to have U.S. Congressman Gus Bilirakis join us today. He flew down from Tarpoon Springs to be here, especially because, as you said, we're a Greek and green business. I admire the people. Uh, it's a family business and a great uh, Greek-American business and uh, they're creative and innovative and they do wonderful things for our environment too so you know in this type of economy you have to work at it and uh, and this is all good nothing but good uh, they, they employ a lot of people they play pay high uh, hourly rates uh, and they do good things and uh, I know my, my wife purchases their uh, detergent and, and their products and it's just a great American story Really what we're looking to do here is to create jobs, create green jobs, support the green economy. I mean, those are all the things that we're looking to do. And so this has been a really great addition. Uh, as you mentioned, we have five geographically diverse manufacturing facilities all in different major metro areas. And this addition is one we're very proud of. Mr. Vlahakis, congratulations for opening one more green and Greek factory, as we wrote on uh, the Greek Reporter. Please tell us a few words about uh, this facility here in the southwestern part of the United States. As you know, our business is growing and we've, we were before in another factory that had only 30,000 square feet and lower ceilings. As our business increased, we started looking for a new facility and we found the 60,000 plus uh, relatively modern facility, very close to our facility and started bringing in our, Greeks, our green, green spirit which is solar panels, solar light and all the things that we normally use as far as the construction materials, renewable type materials that will make this plant uh, one of our star items, our star factories that uh, will bring our, to our people to a healthier environment and at the same time better productive for them and our company. What is the reason that you are making so many facilities across the United States? As our business increases, uh, we need to be close to the main markets to uh, uh, help with the uh, carbon footprint. If you ship, for example, from Illinois down here to Florida, you are having a very large cost, $2,000 for the truck, but at the same time you're going to use uh, let's say three, four hundred gallons of diesel fuel that produces tremendous amount of carbon dioxide. If you're in the local market, you don't have the cost and also you don't pollute the environment by pumping out fossil fuel ingredients such as carbon dioxide. Evi, you are the architect of the new facility for the southwestern plant of Earth Friendly Products. Please tell us a few words about the work that you have put into designing this amazing place. First of all, I want to see how proud I am that I'm working for Air Friendly Product, a company with an impressive environmental record. The way that we approach is how we're going to minimize the, the impact of the building to the community and also how we're going to make the environment for the occupants safe and healthy. The first approach that we did regarding the impact to the community, we reduced the water consumption, we reduced the energy consumption. How we did that, we used motion sensor, we use electrical lights with uh, high efficacy fixtures, uh, we use the best HV system that is in the market. We create several different kind of zones so that you don't spend energy when you don't need. So uh, also regarding to the approach for the rest of the energy that the building needs, we install in the roof of this building approximately 260 uh, solar panels that it will take approximately 40% of the grid of the energy of this um, building need to go out of the grid. To the 
other area in the back in the production area and the second floor when we have this training room that we're standing now we use a new technology they call it solar tube this one is um, a modern uh, version of a skylight that it has a dome on the top of the roof this one is catching the daylight um, uh, during the winter and the summer. Solar tube, this is doing, it has a, ref a dome with very uh, good quality reflectors inside, so it cuts in the light from very early in the morning, from eight o'clock up to six o'clock in the afternoon and reflect them down. So it gives you approximately 75% more than a traditional skylight. So do you believe that going green in a building, is it really a, a lot more expensive than normal? Well, that's a fallacy. Uh, going to green products, you really have better prices and more healthy environment for your employees. So in the long run, it would be not only inexpen less expensive when you start, but you're going to save in medical bills and so on, uh, where your people will not be exposed to ingredients that come out of normal construction materials. It's the same fallacy we have on our cleaning products. People think that all the time the cleaning products should be more expensive if they're green. That's not true. As you can go in the stores and you see our products, you, find, you realize that though we make the greenest products in the United States, we have some of the best prices at the shelf. And do you have any news in terms of products? Maybe any new lines coming out soon or are you planning um, any new uh, collaborations in the United States? Well, the newest thing we have, which is uh, was materialized today, we made an agreement to get a new facility in New Jersey, where we're going to be again doubling our space. We need it desperately. At the same time, we're going to have a facility that will be built on the greenest standards as far as materials, and also as far as our people working in an environment where they, it is as, as safe as we can do with the existing technology that we have.